So in a, in a typical school, uh, PE is not usually centered around kids that are blind or visually impaired. It's pretty low level of incidence. So to be able to come down here and he gets to have uh, some one-on-one -on -one, uh, instruction uh, is just amazing. And it really helps him realize that he can do this, a lot of things that his sighted peers are doing. So when you're swinging, what you've been doing is going down, okay? So I want you to stay level and swing it straight, just like this. See how that feels? Try a couple swings. It's just such a cool environment to see everybody stretching their abilities and figuring out what they can do instead of what they can't. Once you feel it, bring it to you. Grab it, bring it to you. Oh, you gotta feel it, you gotta feel it. You did. You gotta cup your hand. You ready? There you go, good job. So this is an opportunity to work with, you know, a, a different population and bring tennis to them, which is a lifetime sport. And so, you know, they can go home and play with their families, and that's what we want them to do is to continue to play once they leave here. You're shaking hands with it, right? You spread your legs a little bit, bend your knees a little bit. Don't, don't have to bend over. All right, now, see if we'll pass it. See. Capabilities is all about awareness. It's awareness out in the community. It's an awareness for families and it's awareness even for the participants and all the volunteers in regards to what somebody that is blind and visually impaired can do. And honestly, in all my years of experience, there's nothing they can't do. The only difference with them is that they cannot see. That's it. And all we need to do is modify equipment and add some noise to it. So we make everything very auditory. What's the purpose of the blind uh, Some of them can see and some of them can't. Yeah, so, so like, it makes it equal all equal. Good. Someone kicks the ball. And then they have to run to, they have to listen to a bass that beeps, they run, and then, but here's the thing, if the fielders uh, get the ball before uh, the runner gets the base, that means the runner's out, and it works like baseball, three strikes, you're out.